I don't know how to do transitions and I kind of feel like they're a bit cringe, but do you remember in the craft where she did that with her hair and turned it blonde? I love that moment. Anyways, I went out last night and I wore this hair and eye makeup combination and I felt really cute in it. So I thought I'd film a longer tutorial to show you guys how I did this. I'm gonna be doing a longer style tutorial for this look. I'm just parting my hair down the middle and then using this Ceremonia Styling Gel. I know a slick back do doesn't really translate very well on the internet, but every time I do it, I feel so chic. I feel like it just elevates an outfit. Adding a little bit of this clay mist before I put my moisturizer on. This has been my favorite moisturizer for a while now. This is the Three Ships Radiance Cream. So I've been on the hunt for a different plastic free foundations. And a few weeks ago, I got this Ritual to fill our foundation. I do really like it. I think the color that I got is, is probably just a little too yellow for me, but I like a yellow foundation. It's okay. I'm gonna say, I don't know if you've heard me talk about it before, but I definitely feel like I have beef, no pun intended, uh, with this company because they use so much lanolin in their products. This one obviously is vegan. If it's on my channel, it's vegan. I kind of made an exception to purchase from them because it is a vegan and microplastic free sheer foundation, which is pretty hard to find. My beef with them is that I love the aesthetic of everything that they do, uh, but they use lanolin in so much of their products, which really bums me out because I think lanolin is definitely the cruelest animal product that we can use. Lanolin comes from the sweat and oil glands of the sheep and there's really no humane way to source that product. And I know directly from a cosmetic chemist himself that lanolin is such an outdated product to use and there's so many better plant-based versions of it. So there we go, I'm just salty. I'm gonna be taking my Kozas Creamy Concealer for underneath the eye area, but I'm just going to try not to apply too much of it to the top of the eye because I'm gonna be doing cream eyeshadow. When you have too much cream under a cream, it can just be way too emollient and lead to extra creasing. So I'm gonna avoid that area. I still have remnants from my eyeliner last night. Oops. I'm gonna fluff whatever's left on that concealer brush just underneath the brow bone and just leave that lid bare. Just pop a little bit of the mob translucent powder just in the shiny bits that need it because this is a pretty dewy foundation. I wouldn't call it as dewy as the Ilia Skin Serum, but it's definitely is dewy. I'm just going to take a good bit of that translucent and pat it over the eyelid as well to prep for our cream shadow. This eye is definitely a little more dramatic, so I'm just going to be popping just a simple brow gel through the eyebrows. This brow gel is Plume. This is one of the only plastic free tinted brow gels that I've found in a nice deep dark color that's good for dark brunettes or black hair. Mm, this is the OG palette that I bought home from the Mob Labs with my blue and maybe some other shades that may or may not be launching eventually. So I'm just gonna take my Mob M141 cream clay eyeshadow, this beautiful powder baby blue. Literally just gonna lay that all over the eye. Starting on the lid and I'm just going to buff that out through the upper crease. So when we're building color on the lid, we'll use padding motions. And then once you get up to the crease, you can just kind of use that fluffy brush just to blend out. Look at how easy that blends. You can also apply the cream with your finger and just blend it out with a fluffy brush if you want as well. I do want this shadow to be just the softest, softest wash up underneath the eyebrows, but not a Mimi from Drew Carey look. When I'm done with that blending, I'm just going to set with the Mob Beauty translucent powder just to really mattify and set that and also prime the lid for some cake liner. 
I'm going to be taking the Mob Beauty M41 Cake Eyeliner on my favorite brush for cake liner. This is the About Face Angle Brush. Because my eyelids are starting to hood a little bit, I hate saying that. I really like more of a straight liner these days because it keeps the eyelids open. This brush comes in handy. It's got a really nice flat edge to it. And I'm just going to use that to make a line right there. And I'm just going to do a really fine line just along the lash band right here. And kind of join those two together. Also checking the wing with my eyes open as well. When you start to get too thick and you have this hooding here, that's when you have to make that little weird step liner. So I'm trying to avoid having that happen. Okay, so I have this formula. Straight out. And then start from about middle of the eye. Just making a really small line along the lash line kind of drawing that in and filling in the middle my eyelids aren't the same as each other so one always ends up being slightly different from the other i guess you could say sisters not twins another benefit of doing my eyeliner like this is when I do it really thick down here, what happens is this touches up here and then you get that little line of eyeliner up there, which is very annoying. While the cake line is still damp, I'm going to take this tiny little pencil brush and I'm just going to run that underneath the lower lash line. I'm using it while it's still damp because it's going to give me a nice opacity of black, but also not be as opaque and defined as my top liner. The next step is totally up to you whether you line your waterline, but I'm going to with the using the cake eyeliner. Because the cake eyeliner is water activated, it doesn't stay super well in the waterline, but what I love is that it just kind of makes that lower lash line even more black. I'm gonna go ahead and line this tiny little inside. I feel like that just really finishes the look. Herman is snoring so loud right now. Some more of that M141 on this tiny Cosette S185 brush. I'm gonna judge that lower lash line. This is a cream going over the cake eyeliner. It just kind of melds together and just really creates a really pretty blend. You can go as heavy or as tight as you want on that lower lash line too. I'm curling my eyelashes and adding the Mob Mascara, which you probably already know that I love the Mob Mascara. I've been trying to see if there is any other microplastic free mascaras on the internet by like brands that I already know. I've looked at the whole of Sephora and the only other one that I can find at least on Sephora is the Westman Atelier mascara uh, which I'm curious about but it's a higher price point it's $44 for the mascara so I'll just stick to what I know for now. I'm doing bottom mascara for this look for sure. For the cheeks, I'm going to skip contour and I'm just going to pop my M117 blush on the apples. I wanted a fresh cheek look for this and I thought contour and blush would be a little too harsh. Most of the time I pop my blush on and then just pat it in with my Artiste brush or Beauty Blender depending on what I'm using for the day. Wouldn't be a video without Herman yelling. For the lips, I am of course going to be taking a Mob's newness, but blast from a past. This is the M1990 lip liner. Oh, I really need to shave my mustache.
color is also such a good overdraw color. It's creamy enough that you can fill your whole lip in with it as well. Pencil is plastic free too. The cap is aluminium or aluminum, depending on where you're from. Just popping some black lip balm over the top. Just going to re-mattify that little cheek section right there. Just giving the under eyes just a last little blend with this bigger fluffier brush just to really kind of zhuzh it out. There we go, that is my look that I decided to recreate because I felt really cute in it. Slick back hair, a blue cat eye and some mob newness on the lips. Thanks for watching this far. Leave me a blue heart emoji if you made it to the end.